Alright, I just got back from a very, very, you know, inspiring but overwhelming and uh, educational and, you know, beautiful and difficult and, you know, I just got back from a trip to just outside of Marawi City to uh, a place called Sagiran and a few areas around there as well as the Ligan City and um, I just want to share with you now uh, parts of this trip because I didn't actually plan this I didn't uh, expect this to happen and yeah so here we go all right so I don't even know exactly what I'm doing yet but I'm here in the Ligon City and we're driving up to Marawi. I'm not actually going to Marawi. That would be stupid and disrespectful. Um, but what we're doing is we're gonna go drive up to an area where there's a lot of ev evacuees and visit an evacuation center. I don't know why, but I just watched the news a lot in Manila last week and I just wanted to see what's happening. I have some local friends. One of them is Mara now. He's behind me. Look at Yeah, his name's Omar. And uh, we're basically just gonna go see what's happening and see if I can do anything positive or share some positive news or share some things that people can do to help. So, here we go. We're going up. So what happened is I drove up to Sagiran and uh, after I got there, I just realized I should start showing this to people. So of course here on YouTube, I have to edit and then put this up on, online. So what I did is I, I took my focus away from filming and making any sort of videos and I actually just started going on Facebook Live. So you'll see the quality of these videos is very low, but it is just me trying to share things live so if you want to see the kind of the journey of what happened please do go to my facebook page becoming filipino but here is me and sagiran just trying to figure out what's going on and share that with people okay kuya so this is al no al yeah this uh, is al. al where are you from uh, sagiran so you're from here yeah, al, yes. al what's happening here what's going on uh, you know it's very difficult to our people here that the Bridge Sagiran Municipal Hall. This is the nearest uh, municipality to Lano del Sur, Amarawi City. These people around here is a very, very poor people because they don't have enough money to come to Iligan and Kagan University. So they can't live. So they can, they can live here because they need more, after this, they need more uh, financial assistance, especially rice, food, anything. Anything you can provide for these people because they are the needy people. They are the people, they don't nothing, they don't have nothing. So this, this area here in Sagiran, these are people who really struggle to leave Marawi yeah, and this, yeah. are struggling to get a means of livelihood and a sense of, of living basically. Definitely true, that is true, that is true. They are definitely, they are struggling to be here and uh, they, they, don't, they don't know what their expectation is when they come back to Marawi because they, don't, they lost their uh, livelihood, they lost everything. They came here with, on their body, they came here by walking. Thank you, bye. thank you. Um, wow, that makes you want to cry, man. Um, so Al, that guy there, he lives in Sagiran, and basically anywhere you help anybody who's affected by this is beautiful. But one thing here is that this is an evacuation center that's about five to six kilometers away from Marawi. And it, it's the kind of place where people are here because they have nowhere else to go. They have no money, they have no, they have, you know, they had to evacuate their homes. So this is the kind of area, if you are thinking about doing relief, or you are thinking about uh, you know helping going anywhere is, is beautiful but uh, these kind of areas are especially needy of that help now it's beautiful they're getting help today what I'm gonna do I'm gonna finish this Facebook live and I'm gonna go interact and try and learn and hopefully I can have posts later to inform people how they can help where they can help and who they can contact to help because uh, that's what I think is the best thing for me to do so if you're watching this just please I hope you I hope you just start thinking about possibly, you know, helping or, you know, doing some positive things to make a difference. So after the Facebook Live, what happened is I just started interacting with the uh, local Maranaos at this evacuation center and trying to kind of, 
you know, just feel out the situation. And, and what slowly started happening is, uh, you know, I just started getting such good vibes thrown at me and just learning a lot and, and picking up more in our words and, and interacting. And it really inspired me. And I just want to show you some random clips of those moments. Ano ano umaganda Marano? Matay. Ito tay. Matay. 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 So matay ko. Matay na mama. Yeah, three, uh, four years ago, I just wear them. It reminds me to be happy. <laughs> He's very strong, man. On the cast, he just stands up. You're only one years old, you can stand up. I don't know another one. 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 He's asking for yours. Oh, this one. Oh, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna get you one later, bye guys. So after that, basically I just started, you know, interacting with more Maranas and visiting more and more evacuation centers and I started to pick up on something that, you know, there's a lot of kids at these centers and they didn't really have any toys. I started to see them, you know, using different things and, and then it kind of started to grow on me a bit. So I want to show you again a few clips of that and some of it again is Facebook Live because my real intention was to try to broadcast what was going on to the world around me as it was happening. So take a look. You're hopping in the sacks? I said geek into sacks. Jump to my little Go, go, go! Go! I wanted you to see that because I realized something. There's so many kids here who are staying at these evacuation centers and they've been really affected by this and they don't have toys. Like they don't have anything to play with. So those are dirty old sacks that they have found and you can see they're using to hop in. Um, as well, what I realized that like yesterday I saw some kids playing with cardboard boxes. You know, uh, these kids want to play and want to have fun because, I mean, obviously their lives have been quite traumatized. Okay, so I'm inside the evacuation center now. I'm going to try and show you what some of the kids are using to play with, okay? Look at this. This is heartbreaking. I mean, the kids don't have any toys. So they're sweeping up dirt. Look at this. Hello. Hello, cute. Good job. That's a geek in Maui. That was so cute. Thank you. Up here. Up here. Good job. After seeing all these kids and, uh, you know, the lack of toys and just them trying to be creative, I thought, you know, maybe something I could do is utilize this online following or the social media following I have to to try and give back. So that's what I did. I just I just started this toy drive, you know, in a league and city and I just want to show you what happened. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit about something we're going to do all together. Anybody watching this, everyone, we're going to do this. It's going to rock. Basically, I've been visiting evacuation centers here around Elegan and around uh, Marawi, like nearby, for the past kind of four or five days. I've realized, uh, you know, there's a lot of really great organizations doing awesome things. So keep supporting those organizations. Uh, keep donating, keep rocking it. All those volunteers out there, you guys are awesome. But one thing I did notice, if you look back on my Facebook page on some posts, is you would have seen uh, a lot of kids at these centers, okay? And the kids are being so amazing. If you look, they're taking, uh, you know, like cardboard boxes and they're taking like uh, sacks 
and like different things and they're playing games with them and I think that's so beautiful how uh, kids are still being creative and finding ways to play but at the same time you know you can't just play with a sack forever and, and a cardboard box forever it's just not gonna you know I want to give these kids more ways to be creative and more ways to think about other things besides the war that has, dis has displaced them um, from their homes so what I'm gonna do is for the next 48 hours, for the next two days, I'm going to run a toy drive. And I'm going to ask people in Elegan City to bring me toys. You can do this. I know you can do this, Elegan. I know that people watching this will have friends nearby or here. You can bring me toys. We can get toys to help kids have more fun and be creative. So I asked if people can help some kids in Marawi by giving them some toys. I asked people in Elegan to help me out. Check this. <laughs> That's so many toys, look at them! And for that, there's more! There, inside! In where? Inside! Inside! Oh no, it's a big bear! Oh no! That's my favorite toy. Look at that one. Look at this thing. It's huge. They're chasing each other with a giant bear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice one. So many toys. In five hours, we've got thousands of toys. They're going to be part of smile bags for kids in Marawi. Yes. Hey, Anthony, say, wave and say hello. Anthony, what, what's your name? What's your, are you guys brother and sister? No, cousins. Oh, cousins. Okay. I'm a, I'm a girl. I know. What's your name? What's your name? Kyrie. Kyrie. Kyrie, you're giving us toys, no? That's so cool, and Anthony as well. Anthony's really sad. Whoa! Are you gonna, you're gonna give their Pokeball? Yeah. Wow. For the Pokemon. For the Pokemon, so the the kids from Rowing can catch Pokemon. That's awesome. So that Pokemon will come out. So the Pokemon will come out. I like that. That's so cool. You guys are awesome. Thumbs up to you. Uh, can we appear? Let's appear. Yes, you're awesome. So I think. Uh, you know, this is the most amazing thing and I hope that other people out there, you know, who who use social media or have social media followings or have these communities, like this amazing becoming Filipino community that uh, that's, that's grown over the years and in my life here, uh, you know, I hope that they see this or they realize that, you know, you can use and, and not, not use, but you can bring these communities together to do positive things. That's exactly what happened in the league and I got so many freaking toys. Um, and it was just awesome. So what happened next is me and some of my friends, we just spent a lot of time putting these toys together and sorting them out. And then we went to our different relief centers around the city and ended up distributing them. And I just want to show you a few clips of that and, uh, you know, just the after effect of it. And again, you'll notice that I'm not really talking to the camera on any of these clips because my real priority was just to, to interact and give back and learn and you know, it wasn't about making videos to show. I never planned on making any video, or, but I just, um, I just felt like you should see this, my YouTube audience. So, because I'm just so freaking proud of everybody for, uh, you know, putting this together and being able to give back to the people affected in Marawi with these this awesome gift of some happiness and some toys and just good vibes. So check this out. This was giving the toys away and just some little clips of me trying to speak some Mara now and then just interact and yes, I uh, yes. Hey, hello. <laughs> Hi. They're helping organize her first toy drop. Yes, those are all toys that were donated. Nice one guys, I uh, yes. Okay, it all begins today. In there, that's more than enough toys for more than 584 kids and guess what? I heard there's 584 kids at Brungai Santa Elena because I've been there before. This morning, we're going there, we're gonna bring some happiness. We also got biscuits and candy and stuff, so bring it on. Oh. You okay? You okay, thank you, sure? <laughs> Papia Kata Pita. Ating, Ating. Papia Kinawa. Okay. Papia Kinawa. 
Everybody, that's a simple, beautiful stuff. Are you? Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>